Okay, so I'm Caroline at For the Love of Crochet, and this is the Honey Waffle Sweater Test I was doing for coffee and crocheting. And that is today's topic, garments. Have you been afraid of trying to create a garment or wanting to buy that pattern design because you think ah, it's just out of my ballpark? Maybe you are more of an amigurumi person. I'm here to tell you that it is very easy to construct a garment. One of the easiest pattern designers is coffee and crocheting. Now I've done two pattern tests for her. One was for my daughter, which I'll show you a picture of. And one is for this sweater and another sweater. I'm also working on another one of her designs that is very simple, same thing. And I will insert, well, yeah, I will insert a clip of constructing this sweater. So you have a front side and a back side. Then you put the two sides together and you seam the shoulder parts to connect the two panels. And then from the bottom up, you will seam the sides up until you want and just leave space for your arms. And then you take the arm sleeves, fold those together, seam it real quick, and then attach the arms and you have yourself a sweater <laughs> now this sweater this sweater was made with yarn b soft and sleek dk and it's this low pill fiber it had a lot of yardage a 478 but this particular stitch um, to make one of these squares is two rows of double crochet. Now to make two rows, it's like double the work because this is actually the space of one double crochet. But in order to get this effect, this is two rows and two rows of double crochet to make this square is quite a longer stitch to to make this sweater and it takes a lot more yardage now in the pattern design I'm testing she had estimated how much yardage she needed turns out I only needed three balls of this to create this sweater so um, I may I still wouldn't have been able to get away with it with my two fancy yarns I had bought at my yarn crawl experience if you haven't heard that story it is a little funny you might enjoy it <laughs> and you get to know me a little better uh, and I'll link that but this is the honey waffle sweater and I love it I did want to create um, some bacon and you know, amigurumi bacon strips and uh, an egg and put it on here just for fun, but I was running out of time. <laughs> uh, so yes, you can do it. And now there are some do's and don'ts with sweater making, and I'm only going to give you two don'ts. Don't pick the wrong yarn. I have picked the wrong yarn once. And I want to say it was Red Heart. As I was wearing it, my body heat heated up the stitches and they started stretching. So it was getting looser and looser and it was already a loose sweater. So I don't recommend Red Heart or maybe just a large, a large stitch or a large hook. The effect I was going through for this, that particular sweater, it's actually in my shorts. It's a red and green sweater. So if you want to check out that sweater, I'll try to attach a clip, but if I can't, it's in the shorts. Um, so it was just not a good choice, but if I used a tighter hook and a tighter stitch, it probably would work just fine. The second don't is do not skip the gauge swatch. Usually a design will come with a gauge swatch and you will have to try to meet that gauge. Now this was the gauge swatch for my daughter's sweater and they'll give you a certain amount of rows to do and they'll say okay you should be able to get this many stitches in this many rows and if it turns out that it doesn't work for you you just go up a hook size or go down a hook size depending on your tension. That's all. Um, now, have I done sweaters without gauge swatches? I sure have. 
<laughs> and I've turned out okay, but if you want to get to that level of super fantastic design sweaters, then you want to not skip this step at all. <laughs> Those are my only two don'ts. My do's are just do it. Just do it. If you want to make a sweater, make a sweater. If you want to make a cardigan, make a cardigan. They do not take that long, especially in comparison to a blanket. I would say it's the equivalent of maybe making a baby blanket. The seaming part of it is usually a mattress stitch if there is seaming, which is just like a shoelace. You take the shoelace, you go this side, then this side, then this side, then this side. There's tons of tutorials on it and it's the super easy stitch. And you would not be able to see anything. And here is my stitch or my mattress stitch. It just goes back and forth. And you don't see any lumps. It's a smooth, smooth gathering. Um, so yes, you can do it. You can do it, folks. My other do is let's say you try to do a pattern, a sweater pattern. And let me tell you, those are the easiest patterns to do in comparison to amigurumi. I mean, you don't have to keep looking at it. Um, usually it'll be, you just start it out and then it's just a repeat stitch. How simple is that? You can even take this type of um, on the go in the car at the doctor's office because you don't need a lot of supplies and you're doing the same stitch and it's a very short, so you're not tugging along a big blanket. It's a very small piece. So just do it. And uh, also another do is if you run across a problem, let's say you struggled with something contact the designer. They are so helpful. In every experience I've had, contacting designer did not, um, not help me. It helped me and they answered my question or solved the problem for me and I was able to move on and they are so helpful. They want you to be successful, right? So ask. It does not hurt at all. Just do it. <laughs> So those are my do's and don'ts. Now for a little fashion show. I'm going to try on a bunch of sweaters for you. And after the fashion show, I am going to give you a handful of designers for you to try that are fantastic and have simple sweater designs or cardigan designs. So I'll see you. Now this is the... Um, I forgot the name. <laughs> so this is the sweater that I had made and I used Red Heart and as I was wearing it, the stitches started to separate and separate. But I love this. <laughs> Dog life. <laughs> I love this yarn now this yarn was a yarn id from hobby lobby and this one is i love this yarn and it has that lovely design now to attach these two panels all you did was make this little stitch and it was simple folks but i do not recommend this as your first garment only because the tutorial is in pieces and if you don't know where to go and find it and click the links because this was a free pattern on the Moogly blog. But it was my first one. So if I can do it, you can do it. Oh, <laughs> and I didn't have enough yarn again. <laughs> so it's the Batwing sweater. And so I ran out of yarn. So that's why I'm always two toned. Sorry, dog life. Now this sweater is amazing because it will fit anybody, any size, because it's so large. I love it. I love it. It's so comfy and snuggly and this yarn feels amazing. It's at Hobby Lobby. It's called Yarn ID, but the colors are not very saturated colors. They're very muted colors. So, and 
I don't have anything on under this and this is made with just double crochets and these stretches these stitches aren't stretching the batwing sweater <laughs> it is a very fun one to make now this one I feel like a snug as a bug as a rug snug and a bug as a rug snug and a bug snug as a bug in a rug <laughs> Now, if you remember this, I, if you're new here, I did a scrap challenge and I made all the things I could with all the scrap yarn I had. And that is what I did. And I just used any yarn that came out and did it. Now, this is a very snuggly, very comfortable. And this was made with a mix of yarns. And this was the same thing, but I believe I got a string here. This sleeve was made in the round. So you started from the cuff and worked your way up and increased and then you attached it to the shoulder. So this one, the sleeves, there's no seam at all. And this was a design by Divine Debris, and we're gonna talk about her later, so stick around. All right, so yeah, this was my scrappy sweater, and I love it. I feel as snug as a bug in a rug. Now, this lovely design is made by yours truly. <laughs> this sweater, I love granny squares, and I wanted to make me a granny square sweater. Now, did my design come out perfect? No but it taught me some things and I know what to do. And this is a lovely transition sweater for the cooler weathers, but not that quite cool. So you have some new sleeves. And all I did here folks was put the two panels together, make a front panel, back panel, attached the um, shoulder seams there. And then I made two double crochets and gave me a granny square cuff. That's it. I love this sweater. It is my hodgepodge granny square. Ah, uh, my hodgepodge granny square design. And <laughs> I don't have a pattern or anything. This is just something, look, I don't have any skills in the design department, but I want, I had a vision and I made it. And this is what I made and it is lovely. I love it. I did not, I have, I made this boat neck. So um, I just kept the opens, the neck open a little bigger. So yeah, I love this sweater. Ta -da, ta -da. Now this uh, sweater is so cool. It's a very nice transition. You can wear this in summer. This is made with Red Heart Simply Soft. I love that yarn for sweaters or garments because the stretches do not stitch. Give me a little too much cleavage. <laughs> um, the stretches, the stitches do not stretch and the drape on this is so nice. Very nice. Now again, I ran out of yarn. I originally wanted to do this color for the whole garment, but I ran out of yarn. Seems to be my story every day. <laughs> which I need more yarn, <laughs> but hey, it works out, right? Because if I get a stain on the other side, I'll just switch it around. Or if it looks like I wore that shirt before, then I'll just switch it around. So this is the other side. So I really like this one too. And this lovely stitch is just a double crochet and then skip a stitch and that's how you get that lovely design effect. And it's super sexy and attractive, but I'm not showing too much. <laughs> and this is the same sweater, different um, yarn, of course. This one has a little bit of glitter in it, but you can't see it. And the, you can see the holes better though. So yeah, this is the same one. Goes really well with jeans. So yeah.
The first designer I recommend is Divine Debris. Now she doesn't have a YouTube channel. She doesn't give tutorials, but she has an extensive pattern design to choose from, okay? Let's just take a look at her Instagram account and I will show you just a few of the sweaters in her feed. But if you become her Patreon, you for $4 a month, folks, you get four to five designs a month. And as you can see, she is so creative and you can take any one of her wall hanging pieces and turn that into a sweater or a blanket or a square for a bigger blanket. It is so cute. Her pattern designs are amazing and you will not regret being a Patreon of Divine Debris. I was a Patreon of hers for a while, but I had so many patterns of hers that I decided to go ahead and stop it because I had so many that I needed to make some before I continued. And um, be sure I will continue with her. She has an amazing mushroom design with ghosts in it. And how cute would that be as a sweater? And let me tell you, you can do it folks. The second pattern design or sweater designer I recommend is MJ's off the hook design. Now I believe she does have a YouTube and she does do tutorials and she has an extensive garment pattern design collection. She has cardigans, pullovers, sweaters, um, and her designs can be elaborate, but she has a lot of simple designs. And let's just take a look at her Instagram account. She has a she has a wide range of things to choose from. You will love MJ's off the hook designs. Awesome designer. I have not tried her patterns, but I have been eyeing a few. The third pattern designer I recommend is Evelyn and Peter. Now she has an amazing YouTube channel. She gives you tutorials on all of her designs, I believe. She has lovely, simple designs. Anyone can follow any three of these um, pattern designers and Evelyn and Peter is no different. However, she actually sells hers through Lion Brand as well. So you can get all the yarn she uses with the pattern, I believe, in a kit from Lion Brand. And if you become a follower of hers on Instagram, she lets you know when they go on sale. Evelyn and Peter has such an amazing spirit and I just love watching her tutorial. Her Instagram account, it's just filled with so many garments. Her main design focus is garments and simple blankets with some color work. So go ahead and give Evelyn and Peter a try. And if you're not, if you don't follow any of these, go ahead and check them out on Instagram and see if that's something you want to follow. Okay. And then the designer that I was testing for is coffee and crocheting. And if you want to try and test a pattern, let's say you've been making some garments, it is a very helpful to be a pattern tester because then you can help designers make pattern writing easier for beginners like us or you or me because the things that you need to see in a pattern you can convey that to the designers and then that way when they write their pattern you can give your information on how that would have helped you better. Now Coffee and Crocheting has a YouTube. She doesn't do tutorials but she has one YouTube tutorial on a top that I have been eyeing for some time. I want to make that top. It looks a very simple and if you don't if you want even a simpler version of making a garment do one with no sleeves this is one of those and I believe coffee and crocheting has one in her YouTube channel now coffee and crocheting has a great Instagram account and she has a bazillion sweaters as well to choose from and I can tell you from experience I have made two of her sweaters and her pattern is super easy to follow. And if I can follow it, if you are, if you watch my YouTube videos, you know I am often confused and stumped on pattern reading. And if I can follow it, you can follow it. And I tested, so come on, it's that easy, folks. 
So stop waiting, make your first garment. And um, I hope that even if you have made garments, you check out these designers because they are amazing. I shall see you again soon. It has been a pleasure. Have a lovely week, folks. I finished.